Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be doing a grocery haul. So this is a cardo, which I will actually have delivered tomorrow. So you'll see that after this bit, but I'm gonna show you the fruit and veggie boxes. Graham goes to the farmer's market and he picks up the fruit and veg from there, but also we have a local fruit box as well from our green grocer. So yeah, I've actually pulled everything out for a change. A lot of the time I just show you what it's like in the box, but half the time I always miss things. So yeah, like I said, Graham literally, right at the beginning of the market, he goes around and just picks up little bits and I tell him what we want or need or whatever. Um, so start over here, we've got some gigantic blueberries, which we absolutely love blueberries as a family. Miles loves these. And actually what I like about the big ones, they're less obviously tart and also you can cut them in half, especially for like weaning babies. Um, we've got some little baby strawberries. These obviously are really coming out of season now, so they're probably gonna be a bit hit and miss. We've got some mixed baby leaf lettuce, a butterhead um, lettuce, two lots of broccoli, which is my fave. And then we've got some little baby new potatoes. We've got some carrots. I was hoping some, for some more carrots, but he said there wasn't um, any bunched carrots this week. Usually we get the bunched ones with the green tops, which the rabbit usually has. But um, yeah, we've only got those carrots. We've got a butternut squash. Um, it's definitely getting to the season of butternut squash and red lentil soup. I do have a recipe on my recipe playlist. It's like a slow cooker recipe. It's really, really good. So I think I'm gonna make that this week. Um, lots of mini cherry baby tomatoes, some chestnut mushrooms, some peaches, plums, a cucumber, gallia or gallia melon, um, peppers, Miles' favourite fruit at the moment is oranges and he loves apples. I kind of bite the outer and he pretty much eats the rest of it. Um, bananas, we've got flat peaches pears and then we've got one random avocado and then we've also got some duck eggs as well which are local then i'll quickly show you our fruit box from the greengrocer so we do go for a lot of fruit fruit this is the only apple we have left of the week um we've got more bananas these are green so they will be ripen at the end of the week a honeydew melon some more peaches oranges pears different types of apples these are golden delicious um, yeah, that's pretty much that standard stuff and then some black seedless grapes. And I will show you my Ocado delivery tomorrow once it arrives. I think it's coming between 7 and 8 a.m. I believe, probably. I have a nice early slot usually. Okay, so like I said yesterday, I got my Ocado delivery. I've literally just laid everything out. I do this kind of like every two weeks. I don't get too much. We've still got loads of stuff in the freezer and actually I kind of went a bit crazy on the whole like burger hot dog roll thing um, when we over the summer so we have tons of that to kind of get through also as you know we have our own meat so Graham does makes our own sausages burgers uh, we have beef lamb pork so i never really buy any meat apart from i have got some chicken or fish because one thing we don't do we have our own eggs and also milk we do our own raw milk which the children have and graham has so the things that you won't see obviously that we have in our diet we eat a lot of eggs as well um anyway so ocado have recently brought in mns just yesterday i think it was yesterday so um, I could shop and put their stuff in my basket for today. So I was really happy just to try a few things from there as well. So you'll see that. Um, so yeah, I'll start over here. So we've got, they were two for two pounds on the florette uh, salads. So I've got the baby leaf trio. And then one of my favorites is the spinach and baby kale mix. These are good, obviously, for salads, adding into like burgers, side salads, and also put these into smoothies or whatever. Um, I also picked up this M&S Grain and Greens. Um, a wholesome mix of bulgur wheat, peas, kale, green beans, and fresh mints. Yeah, a little bit of convenience. I have actually added a few convenience things in. The kids are back to school, and I just want some quick and easy meals and lunches, really, for me. Um, obviously, and Miles as well. So anyway, I'm gonna try that. That's, again, could be a good um, lunch, but also a good side dish. 
Um, I can't remember how much these were, but they were two, maybe two for three pounds actually. So I thought I would try the apple, celery and walnut salad. Again, you can make this and actually I'm going to give this a go and I'm going to actually try and make it myself um, and see how that goes. But um, yeah, it sounds good. And then this one's a super nutty whole food quinoa, peanut, almond and pistachio salad with the soy and ginger dressing. That sounds really good. Um, so yeah, it's, it's knowing what to put together. That's the, the thing with me. If I know this works well, then at least I can kind of reinvent it myself and remake it. I've got soy sauce. I've pretty much probably got all of those ingredients. Um, and then three for 10 pounds on the barbecue stuff. So they've got a lot of this stuff kind of trying to move out the way because obviously it's kind of the end of barbecue season. So I thought I would pick up the sweet chili chicken thighs that are already marinated. It's a really good meal for everybody because um, everybody will eat this sort of thing. Um, you could do a little bit of corn, the cob, a salad, you know, rice or new potatoes with it, some vegetables. So that's a really quick dinner as well. Um, and then I thought I'd pick up some of the four chicken burgers. It's not something we usually have, but again, it's just something different and um, it's good to switch it up because a lot of the time we just have beef burgers or pork burgers. So um, yeah, and these will be good for lunches. And then also, these had really good reviews. The mango and coconut chicken grills. Um, that just sounded good to me. And actually, I think I'm probably gonna cook one up for a lunch with like a salad, maybe with a little bit of like apple and celery salad. Um, but yeah, Graham's not really into mango or coconut, so I don't think he'll try those. Um, I did get some M&S 2 salmon fish cakes. Um, actually, it's surprising because with Ocado, they have such a choice. You put in fish cake and it'll come up with about 20 different choices of fish cakes from different brands, like Ocado brand, Waitrose, um, other brands obviously, but M&S were actually, I'd say one of the best values, um, in price for ham, like a portion. So yeah, I got the salmon ones and then I got two haddock fish cakes as well. Um, I got some oatily milk. These were on offer. That's what I love. And then I got some of the M&S version of the shreddies just to top up our cereal because the kids just live for cereal at the moment. Um, I've got loads of um, rice already, but this is mine and Violet's favorite coconut rice for when we have a curry, and I'm gonna do a curry this week. So um, yeah, that was on offer two for two pounds. And then also bulk standard, two for three pounds on the no added sugar bolognese. This is, again, a really quick and easy dinner. You know, just throw it in, uh, a staple in my pantry pretty much. I've got some pop dumps for the curry. I also picked up the broccoli and Stilton soup. Oh my God, that just sounded so good. I love this sort of thing. Um, I can give that to Miles as well. I got some of these nibbles. These were kind of in the reduced section, so I kind of got a, quite a good discount on those. And then also I got this little dish dinner for 80p. We've tried a few little dish dinners actually, um, but this one we haven't tried. It's just pasta bolognese. Um, I find they're good enough size that he can have half for, say, dinner, and then he can have leftovers for lunch the next day. So, yeah, I thought we'd try that, and that was 80p. Um, got some saurian for lunches, some raisins. Miles has been loving raisins. I only tried them him with them, I think, maybe two weeks ago. Um, I got some hip peas. Again, these were on offer. These cheesy ones, you know, make it cheesy flavour. Um, they're five pack, they were on offer and they can be really expensive. So I decided to grab one bag of those and then I got smoky bacon and roast chicken for choice of crisps because everybody likes those. And then also the proper corn was also on offer. So I got two packs of those, six in each, great snacks. And then I'm gonna do pizza. So I needed some more bread yeast. I have a pizza dough recipe on my recipe playlist. So we can have pizza on Friday night um, with the mozzarella, so I got that. Um, I got some yogurts for Miles to try. He hasn't tried these, but these were five for three pounds. They're a little bit on the pricey side, but as you can see, like they're 100 grams. They're quite big compared to a lot of pouches. Um, and they're literally just fruit purees through the natural yogurt. And then I also got some fruits as well because they're just handy to have pat lunches. Little Yeos are the little ones. These are great for more on the go. 
Um, I've got some best of both and some white thick bread. It's a little bit squashed. And then also I got these last time, which I love, but also the kids do like them. Um, I, I've had these a lot of the time for like breakfast with eggs, but I also thought I would try the sweet potato and butternut nuggets as well. These were both on offer. Um, and then also some milk chocolate tea cakes for pat lunches. A little bit of a treat there, 16 for £1.50. I got some bacon because we don't actually have any cure bacon going on at the moment. So these were two for £5. The back bacon smoked and, oh, they're both smoked. That's a sweet cure. Um, so yeah, two for five pounds. And then I decided I really fancied some crispy aromatic duck. These, this was down to 12 pounds instead of 15. So it had really good reviews that it's a whole duck and you get loads and loads of pancakes. You get everything you need basically for, um, like a classic aromatic duck and you just add in the cucumber and the spring onion. So we've got cucumber already and I just bought an extra spring onion. So, um, yeah, anyway, that was my very long-winded Ocado haul. I'd show you a stocked up fridge, fridges, that you just love it when it's nice and full and organized. It's all the fresh fruits and veggies. And then dairy, 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 crazy, a lot of dairy. And then we've got loads of those fruits up here, the salady things grapes got some melons up there olives and then over here for the veggies all the fruits i mean all the veggies and then i've just tried to stick the rest of it in between and then we got some meats in there and then standard condiments we'll leave my meal plan at the end of this you can see what we're having this week trying to keep it simple quick um yeah, lately I've just been stuck in a rut with the same meals, but also Miles is super clingy at dinner time, which I'm really struggling. So I'm just, I think I'm, it's getting to kind of that autumn weather. So I think I'm gonna start pulling my slow cooker out and just maybe just putting something on ready the night before or just getting a bit organized. I need to get organized, especially with the kids back at school. I feel like it's just every, I'm just chasing my tail a lot at the moment. So I think I'm, um, yeah, I need to get back on Pinterest and start, you know, meal planning, but also, you know, making my life easier by putting the slow cooker on because it does make such a difference when your dinner's ready at 5, 5.30 and, you know, I don't have to panic and stress about trying to feed the family. But anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on my next one.